me again. So um, this is a tutorial on using Windows Media Encoder 9. I use it to capture my desktop environment on Vista. You might be wondering why I'm not using it right now, but if you stop and think about it for a second, you'd realize I can't run it at the same time as running it. See, I can't record at the same time as showing you how to record. So I'm back to using Cam Studio just this one time. Um, uh, I'm using my uh, 360 uh, wired controllers mic uh, in order to capture the audio. So forgive me for having such low quality audio. Usually my audio quality is a lot better, but I don't really have much choice. It's either this or have it silent again because I cannot edit uh, the Cam Studio file. Um, uses a proprietary codec or something. It's not very uh, virtual or dub friendly. So, like I said, it's either this or nothing. So, just load uh, Windows Media Encoder, custom session. Now, since you would be wanting to screen capture, just check that option. It's usually checked by default, but if you have a webcam, that would also appear as an option. Um, select your um, how do you capture source? In my case, it would be a 360 controller, but I don't actu actually use um, the 360 as my audio. I actually take my Creative Vado and record with that. It's much higher audio quality. I use Windows uh, Movie Maker to um, uh, put them together um, and save them. Um, Windows Movie Maker I know is not the best, but I don't really have much choice, although it's possible that these two programs will be able to edit them, but I haven't actually tried them. Well, back to the tutorial. I'm rambling on a bit too much. Okay. You want to archive the file, uh, browse, just save it wherever you want it. Uh, test blah, yes. Uh, you want to check the compression. You want to choose a uh, file download for the highest quality. Uh, high definition, it's 720p is the highest you can have with this program. Um, you want to choose co uh, constant bitrate because of this feature. You can't use that uh, with with desktop captures. You also need to edit and choose constant bitrate for video as well. And now you notice it's no longer selected. That will work just fine. You just go um, apply. And then you pick um, start encoding. Yes, yes, yes. It's a little slow now because of um, because of this um, other thing I'm running at the same time the game studio, so it's a little slow. But just bring it back up and stop recording. And play open file. And yes, the audio is working just fine for me. Um, you can't hear it, of course, because it's uh, because you're not hearing it through the mic. But yes, it works just fine. Look quality audio as you might expect because it's a 360 mic. But if you use other sources like a uh, camera, a uh, good camera, uh, or a better quality mic, then you'd you'd have better luck. Okay, so that's it. Um, Hopefully, uh, those of you that want to do desktop captures find this video useful. Um, unless, of course, you don't have a Windows operating system, in which case you have to go with open source solutions. Okay? That's it.